Now you know I told you in a past video that you should install goals in your Google Analytics. This is the single most important part that you can do after installing the tracking code on your website. But which goals should you choose? That's what we're gonna discuss in this video. Hey there and welcome back to another video of measureschool.com teaching you the data-driven way of digital marketing. My name is Julian and if you're new here then consider subscribing to the channel, click that bell notification icon so you don't miss a video because we bring them out every week. Now today we wanna to talk about what goals you should be putting into your Google Analytics. Now from my past videos, you know that I'm very adamant about you should be installing goals. Why? because it's very important that you give your data context. So if you have more page views, if your bounce rate goes up and down, what does that actually mean? Well, goals will give you that goalpost of where your data is going. So if you have more traffic, does this con traffic actually convert? So maybe you have already attempted to put in goals into your Google Analytics, but just don't know where to start because goals are actually kept pretty open and you can define whatever you want as a goal in Google Analytics. So today we wanted to discuss how you can go about solving this problem of what you should be putting into Google Analytics as a goal. Now the first question that I would really wanna answer here is what is actually a goal in Google Analytics? Now as you might know, once you install the Google Analytics tracking code, your Google Analytics receives data and these are in the form of hits. Now a hit can be a page view, an event or an e-commerce transaction that comes into your account. Once the data is in your account, you can classify it as a goal. So a goal is really just a classification of the data that you have anyways in your account. You can classify a page view, so when a user comes to a certain page as a goal conversion. Or an event can also be a goal in Google Analytics. You just need to define it in the admin section that this is a very important interaction for your website and you want to find, define it as goal. Why is that so important? Well, in Google Analytics itself, we have many reports and you might have seen the report column of goals or conversions on certain reports and these really give you context about your data. So if you're looking at the sources where your traffic came from, you can always glance over to the goal section and see how many of these people who came through a given source actually converted. So goals really flow throughout the interface of Google Analytics and you should really install them. So how can you go about finding out what you should be installing as a goal? Now, before I give you a bunch of tips on what you can define as a goal in Google Analytics, I actually wanted to take a more holistic approach. And there is a measurement model by Avinash Kaushik that actually talks about this. How can you devise the goals from your business objectives? So where you would start is actually finding out what are the business objectives, what are the objectives of the organizations. From there, you would break down the actual goals because every organization would first look at what goals do we want to reach as a whole, as an organization. How does that break down to our website? What is the purpose of our website? And then on the website, on the different sections, maybe on the website, you would actually define different goals for them. So for the business objectives, really ask yourself, why do we exist as an organization? And what purpose does our website have? And once you go on the website basis, you would look at the different objectives and see how they support our global objective. That might be creating awareness, generating leads, generating revenue, or engaging customers to interact further. Now, ideally, your website has a purpose and the different pages and the different interactions that you can undertake on your website actually support these objectives. So from there, we can break down what we should actually be tracking and what we can then define as goals. Now, on a page-by-page -page basis, we are already um, tracking page views with Google Analytics. Now we just need to identify the pages that are very important to us, the goals that a normal website visitor should be reaching. So on an e-commerce context, that would, for example, be the thank you page of the order received page. For a business website, that might be the contact us form and the actual thank you page of the send form. Or for a publisher website, that might be that somebody clicks on an advertising. So as you can see, there are vastly different interactions, different pages that you might be looking at and defining as a goal in Google Analytics. And that's why it's such a custom process to go through in order to set up efficient goals. Now, once you have defined these macro goals, these bigger goals that actually support your organization's objectives, then you might be wanting to break this even further down, finding steps that lead up to that macro conversion. And these are also called micro conversions. So 
In a case of an e-commerce shop, they need to all go through a checkout process. This is something you might be putting into a goal. So you can segment down later further once you look at your traffic and can say, okay, this user made it through the checkout or the second step of the checkout and didn't complete our macro goal in the end. So maybe we can retarget him as well later on. So that might be something that you want to put in as goals as well, but be aware that these are not as important as your macro goals, it's your bigger goals. So you should prioritize them down in terms of what you put in first and then look at second. Now the last question that might come up, is there um, something like too many goals in my Google Analytics? Obviously there is a limitation to how many goals you can put in. In the standard version of Google Analytics, there's 20 goals. Now obviously you could build up a new view and then put in more goals. But in the end, the question really is about how much data can you handle? Because you are classifying more data points in your Google Analytics. And I'm always a fan of a very lean analytics implementation where you have the tracking data available to make good decisions and don't get overwhelmed. And it's no use to track everything and look at all the data and have all the data available but rather have the data that is meaningful to your organization, to you as somebody who would analyze these results. So in this case, I would say less is more. Now in the end, if you have mapped out your goals uh, with the structure of the measurement plan and have defined your business objectives, your macro and micro goals, and now you want to implement this into Google Analytics, you actually need to look at the capabilities that Google Analytics has available. Because there are obvious goals like click interactions, which we could classify through events, or we have certain pages that the user would visit that is classified to, through a destination goal. But maybe there's also a goal like somebody calling a certain number on your website, which is obviously hard to track with Google Analytics alone. You would have to have a third party software that might be able to track that in Google Analytics, in which cases you could also look at the micro conversions that go into the system. So how many people got to that um, contact us page where the actual phone number is displayed. So that's where you could look at the trend and see how many people actually looked at that page and then maybe converted or didn't convert. So it gives you an idea of the actual conversions. It's really about finding a goalpost where you can see your numbers go up or down and then correlate the numbers that you have in Google Analytics towards them. Now, if you don't have goals in Google Analytics yet, I would encourage you to definitely put some in there. Just think about the purpose of your website and what are the interactions, the pages that should be visited by the user, and then try to input them in the admin section. There is a whole another level of configurations that you can do in those goals. Don't get overwhelmed by them. In the easiest part, you would just put in a destination goal, so a website that a user should visit, and then you would count that user as converted. You could obviously work with event tracking as well, or other different mechanisms of defining your goal, but don't get overwhelmed. We just need one or two or three good goals in our Google Analytics to make more sense of the data. So I'd encourage you to try this out and put this into your system if you haven't yet. Now, if this helped you out, then please give us a thumbs up. And if you have more questions, then leave them in the comments below as well. And if you haven't yet, then consider subscribing right over there. And as a bonus tip, if you click that bell notification icon, if you already subscribed, then you get notified once we bring out a new video, which is really every week. Now, my name is Julian. Till next time.